Hey everyone, welcome back to Chillbox Only Sophia Wellness. My name is Ali, and today we're going to be doing a part two for one of our most popular videos, which is meditation for masturbation. Um, I also want to say this could be used for sex as well, especially if you and your partner want to do this prior to sex to help get grounded, or if it's solo sex and masturbation that you want to do this meditation before starting. It's a really great way to tap into our bodies, get out of our minds, um, and be able to unlock potentially more pleasure and feel more pleasure in sexual experiences because for so many people mental blocks and barriers can get in the way of pleasure and the way of being present in a moment uh, and so there's no better time to practice uh, tapping into our body and tapping into our sensations in our body um, and trying to quiet the mind than when we are going through sexual experiences so Today's meditation is very simple. I'm going to walk you through it. Um, feel free to lie down if you want, or you can sit up. You just want to basically be in a really natural, relaxed uh, space. Ideally, you'll have both feet on the ground if you're sitting up, um, and you know, make sure that your spine is aligned and you're comfortable. Um, or if you want, lie down, relaxed. You can have your uh, palms facing up to kind of bring energy in or if you want to feel a little bit more grounded you can have your palms facing down but yeah we will get started on the meditation so like I said a lot of feeling pleasure and unlocking pleasure is getting out of our mind and into our body and so we are going to be doing a body scan to basically tap into those sensations and feelings uh, and get ourselves in the right frame of mind for noticing those sensations and feelings during a masturbation or solo sex or partnered sex activity. So to start us off, let's just take a deep breath in together. So you can close your eyes, take a deep breath in through the nose, and if you want, you can even bring your shoulders up to the ears. And then exhale through the mouth, side out, and let your shoulders drop. We'll do that two more times. So deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, let your shoulders drop side out. One more time here, deep breath into the nose. Exhale, side out through the mouth. Awesome, and then keeping our eyes closed, really tuning into our body here and focusing on the sensations in our body. When we, you know, tune out one of our senses, whether that be sight or smell or even hearing, we can really activate the sense of physical touch and how also we are responding to different sensations that come up in our body because we can put more emphasis and effort uh, and focus on them. So by closing our eyes here, we're unlocking an ability to focus more on our physical sensations. Um, and we can start by noticing how our feet are feeling today. You know, how the toes are feeling. Are they achy? Are they relaxed? Um, you know, if you are clenching a little bit, maybe you can try wiggling out through your toes and seeing how that feels or affects the sensation in them. Windshield wiping your feet side to side. And then once you've kind of played around with your feet a little bit, just dropping into stillness here and noticing any sensations that are coming up in our feet, really focusing on them. And as we move through this meditation, making sure we are staying connected to our breath. So taking nice deep inhales. And then on the exhales, releasing any tension. And trying to hold our exhales for a little bit longer than our inhale. So this is gonna put us into a more of a relaxed state of mind and we might be able to pick up on more sensations in the body because of it. So still just noticing our feet here, and then when you're ready, let's bring our awareness up into our calves. So the lower part of our legs here, noticing any sensation. And again, right away, if you want to, you know, massage out your calves, maybe you can move your hands down there and, and apply some, some pressure and massaging out, or if you just wanna maybe roll your, your calves side to side. Or maybe you just want to sit and soak in the sensation on your own, but just noticing how our calves feel today. And you know, there might be noises going on in the background or, 
or different distractions showing up for you here, but try your best to stay present in this moment. You can always trying to make time for yourself and for moments like these. And so anytime that we can turn out any of those distractions and set aside time, quiet time is always great. But if it does pop up and you do hear something or, you know, you get distracted, just bringing yourself back to your breath, taking deep breaths in and deep breaths out. The breath is what you should be focusing on. The noises and the sounds elsewhere do not matter. All right, and then moving into the sensation in our knees, noticing how our knees feel today. And then after we notice the sensation in our knees, moving up into our upper thighs, noticing if you know part of the thighs feel different than other parts, maybe the tops feel different than the bottoms. And if you want, again, you can start to kind of massage out here on your upper thighs and into the knees, just seeing, you know, how they're feeling today, noticing what it feels like to touch your thighs here, you know, and give them a little bit of attention, how that feeling of touch feels in your overall body, does it help you release, relax, just noticing here, no judgment, just taking inventory, and then you can start to relax. And just breathe and notice how your thighs feel now. Then moving up into our pelvis region, noticing how our glutes are feeling. They're connected with the earth or with your seat. How maybe your genitals are feeling today, if there's any sensation in there. Again, not applying judgment, just simply noticing. You might rock your hips side to side here. Again, picking up on any feeling and trying not to label as like right or wrong or good or bad, just as maybe pleasurable or unpleasurable or neutral, right? We're all just trying to assess and gather information. And then moving up to our core, so our lower back and our bellies. Maybe in your belly here, you're noticing the rise and the fall of it, getting in tune with that. Again, if you want to you know, massage out part of your, your belly or your lower abdomen, seeing how you respond to touch there and how that feels. And then once you've done a little massage, Letting that just soak in and coming back to neutral here and observing how your body feels now. And moving our awareness up into our chest and our upper back. You might do some shoulder rolls again here. You might massage out the top of your chest by your collarbone. See how that feels and then again coming back to stillness breathing in and just noticing any sensations here as we move through you know stimulating certain parts of our body with touch or just with awareness in our mind we start to bring attention to those body parts and seeing you know what feels good and tapping into how it feels to touch ourselves there or to be touched there and the more we practice bringing awareness to that, the more we can focus on that in sexual experiences. Training our mind to assess and be aware of when we're being touched and how we're being touched and what we like and dislike. All right, moving up to our shoulders, you might want to roll your shoulders a little bit here. Maybe roll your neck. Again, just bringing awareness into our neck and shoulders. Sometimes we might be carrying a little bit of tension, so maybe trying to release that with some breath. And create more space, more relaxation. And then moving into the arms, so same thing. Maybe you start to kind of massage out some of your arms, your lower arms, your hands, your wrists. Bringing awareness into the sensations that we're feeling in our arms and our hands. Maybe you start to massage out your palms here. Bring more as to how it feels to touch your palms and touch your forearms and your upper arms. And then once you've done that, coming back to stillness again and just noticing.
And then next, bringing our awareness to our neck. Again, maybe we want to massage out a little part of our neck here. Our jaw even carries so much tension in our jaw. So how does it feel to touch and pay attention to those sensations? And then coming back to stillness again. And just taking that in. And lastly, bringing awareness to our heads. You know, maybe you want to do some neck rolls here for our head. You might want to take your hands up and massage the top of your head. Behind the ears, even like on our, our cheekbone line here. Our temples, and just noticing how it feels to touch and stimulate the head. All right. And then bringing our hands back down to our thighs or to rest beside us and just noticing again how our head feels after it's been simulated. Not applying judgment here, just noticing. And taking a deep breath in through our nose. Exhale, side up through the mouth. Another deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, side up through the mouth. So as we come to a close here, just realizing, okay, you know, I just did a full scan of my body. I just stimulated different parts of my body. Hopefully you are able to stay mindful throughout the process and bring your attention to each specific part that you were focusing on and noticing how that felt and, you know, what it was like to maybe turn the mind off and just be present with the touch and thinking about ways where you can incorporate that into your future sexual experiences. And then when you're ready, beginning to open your eyes and see how you feel. Um, that exercise is meant to basically take you through your whole body and, and connect your mind with your body. Um, that's one of the best ways to unleash and unlock pleasure is when you're in those experiences to really tap into the feelings and the sensations and to try your best to turn off the thoughts and the judgments. Uh, so I know for myself I feel super zen right now and really in tune with my body. Um, I hope you do as well and I hope this helps you. Feel free to practice this alone or with a partner like I said is a really wonderful way to ground yourself before a sexual experience uh, and especially turn off some of those overlooping thoughts and anxieties that may come up. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe because that really helps our channel. Feel free to share it with someone who you think it might help as well. And I'll see you for another video soon.